Today we're going to do a process called jelly printing. Printmaking is a type of process where artists usually have some sort of plate. In our case, it's going to be these jelly plates that feel like jelly. And an artist can create multiple copies of an image through a process called printmaking. So what I'm doing is I'm painting my design onto the plate I am creating a ghost. You do not need to create a ghost. You can if you want to, since it's Halloween, but you don't have to. Either way, we're going to use white because we will be printing on black paper. The design I'm creating is very simple. Simple designs work best. So I've painted it onto my jelly plate. Now I'm taking a black piece of paper and I'm pressing it firmly onto the jelly plate. You can see I'm rubbing the back of the paper so that my image can transfer onto my black paper. And now I'm picking it up to reveal it. And there is my ghost. So I painted a literal ghost, but when an artist creates a second print using the excess paint on their plate, it's also called a ghost print. And you'll see why in a moment. So I'm taking the remaining paint on my plate and I'm using that to create a second print, also known as a ghost print. And you can see here the difference in the effects of both. I think they both look cool. Honestly, the ghost print looks a little bit spookier. So again, we're creating prints. Your first copy will be the original, and then your second copy is the ghost print. For my first example, I made a literal ghost, again, because it's Halloween but you do not have to. Here you can see I'm creating like a fall scene with different flowers and mushrooms and a tree in the back. As I'm painting it, I remem I'm remembering that simple shapes work best. This painting here was a little too detailed. You'll see why in a little bit once I reveal the print, but I'm painting my design on very carefully. I'm thinking about the direction of the brush strokes as I'm painting it. And then again, I will create two prints from this, the original print and then the ghost print. When you work today, you're going to take turns with the person that you sit next to. One of you will begin while the other observes. Both of you will end up creating two prints. They should be dry enough for you to take home at the end of art today, but if they're not, you can feel free to leave them in the art room and pick them up next time. Now I'm going ahead and I am rubbing the back once more and I am lifting it off my paper. So in this print, you can kind of see the flower was a little too detailed. Some of the paint kind of blobbed together and I lost some details in the center of the flower. Here is my ghost print, because remember that's the focus today. We are creating two prints, more than one copy of our artwork. And there it is. Think about which one came out better for you Sometimes the first one comes out really nice, but the second one can have a really interesting effect as well.